I'm really not sure what these fireworks were for on the 24th of July, but they were pretty to watch anyways. Another beautiful morning in Chardon. I call this the Ohio rainforest because it's so wet and green. <laughs> of course, in the winter, it's not a rainforest. It's a snow forest, which is why I suppose they don't honor it with the title of rainforest. But it certainly is wet. It was raining last night and the trees are dripping. There's this beautiful carpet of little white flowers. They smell terrible, but they look nice. Chardon, I am going to miss you. Yes, you heard me correctly. I have decided to move back to Colorado. My house is now a mess. I am officially starting to pack again. Feels like I just did this, doesn't it? But anyways, tis what it is, taint what taint. They tell me that my sister's husband's sister's fiance's father is in Cleveland and he might be able to take some boxes for me back to Durango. <laughs> we'll see if we can make, make the connection so I can hand off some stuff to him. I've got a giveaway pile to go to Goodwill. Oh, and then I have other stuff I'm sorting out and Yes, moving it can be crazy. And this goes back to a friend who loaned it to me, the keyboard. I haven't played it much. In theory, keyboard is better than nothing. In reality, I really just want a real live piano. So, there's that. I have a sewing machine somebody gave me, so I'm going to try to put it in a box. So, if we have room for it. If we don't have room, I'm gonna leave it at the thrift store or give it to the thrift store. Um, but if I do have room somehow, I will bring it with me. I'm not sure where I put it now that I picked it up. Um, that box is too small. That box is too small. I need to sit in it at least though. Even though moving is a nuisance, there is something exciting about it. But I have many mixed feelings about going back to Durango because <sighs> here I am, I'm in my 30s, I've been gone from home for almost 15 years and it doesn't feel like I have anything to show for my life and that's quite depressing. <laughs> now in reality, I know that's not true, I have a lot to show for my life. Um, not like career-wise or I don't have a family of my own, but I've learned a lot of wisdom in all these years. I've learned a lot of humility, a lot of compassion for other people, a lot of self-acceptance, and I think in the end those are more important, or those are very important things, more important than a career, definitely. Um, but anyhow, it is what it is, as I said before. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna try to take down the sewing machine table. It has like a little table it's on, but it's, that is very heavy. The plan is I'm going to move out of this apartment on August 30th or thereabouts. 
And I'm going to go stay with one of the other former sisters in Cleveland for a few days to a week-ish. She very kindly offered me a place to crash on her sofa. I want to get my car checked before we drive back to Colorado and make sure I say goodbye to everybody that I want to say goodbye to, but I probably won't have time to say goodbye to everybody that I know in the area. Just my closest friends, probably. And um, it will give me time to, if I need to ship some boxes back. So next Friday, I'm gonna put it, or next, I'll put my two weeks in Friday night so they get it Saturday morning, because I can work. I think my last day will be August 21st, working at Dunkin' Donuts. And I will miss some of the people there, but I will not be sad to say goodbye to the job. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts just opened a store in Durango, but I'm thinking I'll look for a different job. Yes, I think so. so. We'll see, one day at a time. Like I said, lots of mixed feelings going back. Here comes the air conditioning. It's gonna freeze me out. What a mess this place is. Oh my. Most of the things I have were either given me or I got at the thrift store. Oh, this is my grandmother's harp. My grandmother started on a little harp and then she got a bigger harp and I was very much hoping to get the bigger harp but apparently it was given away when she died so I was not happy about that. Well, I found out that the, the gentleman who was thinking of taking Oh, my stuff is about three and a half hour drive from me, so I may as well ship it instead. Oh well. I'm just muddling onward. I've been so tired lately. It's, it's a drag. It drags me down. But anyhow, just two more weeks of Dunkin' Donuts. Three more weeks. And I'm happy to say I have figured out what to do with all my excess coins. I just trade them in for cash at the register at work because they always need coins, whereas I prefer the cash. Closing up here at Dunkin' Donuts. We're all almost finished. Looks like there's one more car coming around. Hopefully they don't want anything we don't have because we're low on stuff at this time of night. Hello, what can I get for you? Yes, we have that. Sure, what size? All right, anything else for you? I'm sorry, we are actually all out of our donuts for the night. No, we're all out of the, all the bakery. That's a wrap. We did it. Another shift at Dunkin' over for the time being. Phew. It wasn't too bad today. Not too many crabby customers or malfunctioning computers or all that fun stuff because I'm usually in charge when I work in the afternoon and I have to deal with all that stuff. So it was a good day. And I had a good coworker, which makes all the difference in the world. All right, now I'm gonna go over to the lake and take a walk, and then I'm gonna go home and eat my dinner, and that sounds good to me. It feels like it's starting to get darker earlier. Sun is going down when I come to walk now, and before it wasn't. Not this much, anyways. 
It always amuses me walking here because there's all these hot fishermen along the edge of the lake and they always turn around to greet me. <laughs> Super cute actually. Among other things, I am going to miss all the bunnies here. Colorado doesn't have nearly as many bunnies. Anyone else dislike these things like I do? They're hard to use. Alright, another beautiful mass. Just leaving church now. Some people think the Catholic Church is all about rules and laws and thou shalt nots. But that's missing the point entirely. That would be like saying the point of driving is to obey the traffic laws, when in fact it's the opposite. The traffic laws are there to serve your driving so that you can get where you're going safely and swiftly. So I like to think of the rules and laws in the church as like a cheat sheet, the answers to the question of what will help us thrive in life. And honestly, if you think deeply about these things, you're probably going to come to the same conclusions as the church laws anyways, because they're basically just common sense. <laughs> and that doesn't make them mean they're always easy to follow, but God knows what will help us thrive. So if we want to thrive, that's like the shortcut of getting the answers. We don't have to do all the hard work of figuring it out the hard way. <laughs> Unfortunately, many of us figured out the hard way anyways, and then we realized what the church was trying to tell us. But anyways, that's what I like to think about it. The church is there to serve the fullness of life, um, the abundance of life, and the laws, they're like the guardrails to keep us on track. But they're not the point, you know? They're not the goal, I should say. The goal is fullness of life in Christ. The laws and rules are there to help us reach that. The church itself, the visible church, it's the springboard. It's the starting point. It's not the end goal. The end goal is fullness of life in Christ. To be fully alive, fully ourselves, the very best version of ourselves. Happy and holy and wholesome and, and alive. And... The visible church is meant to launch us off into the great adventure of a relationship with God. And it's exciting. And of course, the visible church being made up of human beings, it doesn't always reflect that very clearly, but that doesn't make it any less true, if that makes sense. That's the way I see it. Because I have my bones to pick with the visible church. <laughs> and the people in it and the, the messages they send and the, the things they do that don't line up with truly loving God and truly loving each other and truly loving ourselves. But my life is still better with the church in it, even though the human beings are faulty. Those are my thoughts for the morning. I'm thinking out loud. So as a counselor once said to me, take what fits and leave the rest. salamander it's just pouring outside but i think though the hardest of the rain is over so i am going to step out now um sister therese died from the monastery it's the third sister who has died since i left sister christiana sister colette now sister therese so we were not invited to the funeral the three of us ex-nuns in the area but we are going to the wake right now. Phew, that was quite 
a rainstorm. Dangerous driving. If I had known it was going to be that bad, I would not have tried to drive in it. I would have waited or just stayed home. But we made it safely and I'm almost at Gail's place now. And then off to the monastery. It always makes me a little sad being back here, thinking of what might have been and feeling all those feelings. Good. We have got the best pistachio ice cream ever. Anywhere. Ever. Mitchell's in Cleveland. <laughs> this is Go not there. a paid promotion. <laughs> this is not, but, but it could be. It is delicious. You will not be disappointed. Go to Mitchell's. <laughs> toasted pistachio. <laughs> I think we should stay here a little longer and try a different flavor. <laughs> Wouldn't bother me. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> this is his little food storage. He, he's so funny. He comes over in the morning and run it. Get his food, stuff his cheeks, and he'll throw some in here. So I don't know if he ever will eat this. Is your nose coming out? You should let him know where are you? He's got to have to have food to, to get his nose out. He's so cute. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Frodo. Come on, Frodo. Here comes the nose. Here comes yes. the nose. <laughs> Did you get him? Yes. <laughs> and as I'm leaving, I disturb this cat. Look at that reproachful look on its face. Oops. Thank you.